What? You want my opinion? You want my opinion? You can't handle the truth. <laughs> How's it going, guys? It is MWT here with another video for you guys. And um, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, like this video, and yeah, comment what you think about the intro because I actually like that, man. It's like, you can't handle the truth. Now, there are a lot of games, so I'm going to go through them quickly as I can. Make sure we get these done with and, you know, do what we need to do, okay? So, the first game we got to talk about is the Indiana Pacers taking on the Detroit Pistons. The Pacers, of course, win 112 to 106. And um, let's check out this box score really quick. Um, I was surprised, more or less, because Luke Kennard... Uh, finished with 29 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, while Indiana's main score was a tie between 3 people. TJ Warren with 17 points, 4 rebounds, and 1 steal, 1 block. DeMonte Savonis, 17 points, 14 rebounds, 6 assists, and 1 block. And off the bench, TJ McConnell, 17 points, 5 rebounds, 9 assists, and 1 block. In this case, when it comes to who had the better stats, I would give it to DeMonte Savonis. But then again, TJ McConnell played 17 less minutes, had the same amount of points, better field goal percentage. So it's kind of tough when it comes to that, but plus rating also comes into a factor. So DeMontis Sabonis with a 6 plus, and TJ McConnell only had a 0. So that's why I give it to DeMontis. Now, the Pistons were up by 15 points in the first quarter. They blew that lead, let the Pacers go up by 4 points into the half. Pacers went up by 17 points, and they almost blew it, but won the game by 6. So, yeah. Um, okay game. Okay. I mean, it was okay. It wasn't, it wasn't something I'm going to rave about. I'm not going to say, oh my god, what a game. No. Next game, Orlando Magic versus the Memphis Grizzlies. The Magic win 118-86. to 86. Um, I'm not even going to talk about the fourth quarter. <laughs> Let's go into Memphis's main, uh, main uh, score. It was Jonas Valanciunas, 15 points, 9 rebounds. And for Orlando, it was Nikola Vucevic, 23 points, 16 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 steals, 1 block. Um... The Grizzlies were up by 5 points during the second quarter and then let the Orlando Magic go up by 35 at the end of the game. They won the game by 32. Now, it was a highly contested game, very close, until the fourth quarter. Let me give you the fourth quarter stat. 34-8. to eight. The Magic went on a 34-8 run against the Grizzlies in the fourth quarter. Throughout the entirety of the fourth quarter, that was the fourth quarter, 34 to eight. That's why, that's why the Magic won by 32. Th that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I, I couldn't believe it. How do you only score eight points in the fourth quarter of a game that this is contested because it's a six, you're down by six. Memphis looking sorry and sorry the more I watch them. They're 2-6. and six. And obviously this is um, Friday after they lost their 2-6. and six, so. um, Next, Cleveland versus Washington. The Cleveland Cavaliers win 113-100 over the Washington Wizards. Well, Wizard, because Bradley Beal's the only notable thing on the Wizards. Um, yeah. You should only call him the Washington Wizard because Bradley Beal is the only good thing about this team. Now, Tristan Thompson was the main scorer for the Cavs. 21 points, 12 rebounds, 3 assists, 3 steals, 2 blocks. And for Washington, the main scorer was actually Thomas Bryant. 23 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 steal, 1 block. But then again, Bradley Beal was still one of their best players. He's still their best player. Rookie Rui Hachimura doesn't deserve to be in that situation. He should be on a better team. 
Now, the Washington Wizards never led the entire game, which has me to believe that they are trying to tank. Um, because the Cavs were up by 21 points during the third quarter. Now, the Cavs almost blew it. But during the fourth quarter, they gained their strength and won the game by 13. So, uh, Wizards, start tanking. Like, start... You might have to get Bradley Beal off the court if you want to actually have some luck in the draft lottery. Now, next game, Sacramento versus um, Atlanta. And Sacramento actually won this game. Um, they won this game 121 to 80, 109, 121 to 109, 121 to 109. Very tough to say. Um, Sacramento's main score was Buddy Heal, 22 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist, and 1 block. For Atlanta, again, Trey Young, 30 points, 2 rebounds, 12 assists, and 5 steals. That 5 steals is incredible. Now, Atlanta was up by 6 points during the first quarter. They never held the lead after that because the Kings went up by 21 points during the second quarter. Now, the Kings almost blew it. Atlanta was almost within, was within 2 or 1 point during the fourth quarter, but the Kings went back up, won the game by 12. Yeah, so... Man, you want to talk about that. <laughs> um, next game we got to talk about overtime. Minnesota versus Golden State. 125-119 to 119 the final score. Golden State loses again because they're kind of garbage. Um, let's just admit that. Admit that. Um, Golden State, main score, very surprising. Let me give you the stat line, and I want you to guess. 52 points, 9 rebounds, 5 assists, 3 steals, 2 blocks. On 7 for 8 from the free throw line, 7 for 17 from the 3 point line, and 19 for 37 from the field. In 40 minutes of action. That's what D'Angelo Russell did. Kid is dangerous. Now for Minnesota, their main scorer was Andrew Wiggins actually. 44 minutes, play 44 minutes, 17 for 33 from the field, 2 for 7 from 3, 4 for 8 from the free throw line, 5 rebounds, 7 assists, 3 blocks, 40 points. Wow. Very, very great game. I mean, you want to talk about it, I actually watched this game. Um, now, the Timberwolves were up by 6 points two different times in the game in the first quarter and in overtime, and they won the game by six. Now, Golden State was up by eight points during the four, fourth quarter, and they blew that and let the Timberwolves tie the game. I don't see anything else. Um, guess that's how it is. Now, Toronto versus New Orleans. Toronto wins 122-104 to in this matchup. Um, and this was in the Smoothie King Center. Um, let's take a look at this really quick. Toronto's main scorer, Pascal Siakam, again, 44 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists. And for New Orleans, it was Brandon Ingram, 27.7 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal, 1 block. Now, matchup-wise, the Pelicans were up by 3 points during the first quarter. Um, and the Raptors went on a 45-23 second quarter run. They were up by 29 points during the third quarter, and the and they won the game by 18 points. I think I underestimated the Toronto Raptors without um, Kawhi Leonard when he left, because Pascal Siakam is going to be an All Star. Uh, I'm dead serious. Siakam is going to be an All Star, and if he isn't, I'm going to be upset. I'm going to choose him on my All Star team. Now, next game was an upset. The New York Knicks beat the Dallas Mavericks 106-102 on the road. Um, box score, New York Knicks main scorer, Marcus Morris Sr., 29 points, 9 rebounds, 3 assists, and 1 steal. For Dallas, Luka Doncic, 38 points, 14 rebounds, 10 assists, but 8 turnovers. He had a great triple-double. Now, the uh, New York Knicks were up by 12 points during the third quarter, and they blew it. Dallas Mavericks went up by three. Their largest lead, though, was four points two different times in the first quarter. But then the Knicks won the game by four points at the end. So, okay, whatever. No, no I won't say anything. Uh, you, can, you can do whatever you want with that. Now, um, next game, Denver versus Philadelphia. 
Denver won this game 100 to 97 off of Nikola Jokic's game-winning shot with 1.2 seconds left. Uh, Philadelphia's main scorer, Joel Embiid, 19 points, 15 rebounds, two assists, one block, but eight turnovers. Not good. Now for Denver, their main scorer was Nikola Jokic, 26 points, 10 rebounds, six assists, two steals, two blocks. Matchup-wise. Denver was up by 3 points in the first quarter. Philadelphia was up by 21 points in the fourth quarter. And they blew it. They blew it. Let the Denver Nuggets have a 35-13 fourth quarter in the Mile High City. And let Denver beat them by 3. If you're talking all this smack and talking all this garbage about you being the NBA final contender and being an NBA finals like team then you better beat these Western Conference teams because that's who you're playing I don't want to hear anyone talk about how Philadelphia is going to be in the finals I don't want to hear it I don't want to I don't want to hear it it's ridiculous next Utah versus Milwaukee Utah wins by three, 103 to 100. Um, now, Milwaukee's main scorer, of course, Giannis Antetokounmpo, 30 points, not 13 rebounds, four assists, two steals, two blocks. Utah, it was actually Boyan Bogdanovich, 33 points, five rebounds, and he hit the game-winning shot. Game-winning three by Boyan Bogdanovich. Um, now, Milwaukee was up by one point in the fourth quarter. Utah was up by 22 going into the half. Well, they were up by 20, but they their largest lead was 22. And they blew that. But the Bucks go up by one. And then ultimately let it tie it at the end. But then Bogdanovich, oh man, he is a gem of a player, hit the game-winning shot. And that's why the Utah Jazz won that game. Um, it was a great buzzer beater. Now... Brooklyn versus Portland, second to last game here. Brooklyn won this game 119-115. Um, um, yeah, it was just it was an overall back and forth game. Brooklyn's main scorer off the bench, Spencer Dinwiddie, Dinwiddie, Dinwiddie with 34 points, five rebounds, four assists, and one steal. For Portland, however, guess who had a 60-point game? Jesus, man, you talk about Damian Lillard. 60 points, 15 for 15 from the free throw line. Perfect. Four rebounds, five assists. But they still lost. But Portland still lost. 60 points from Damian Lillard, and they still lost. Now, Portland was up by five points in the fourth quarter, and they blew that and let the uh, Nets go up by 10 points again. Now, remember... Nets were up by 10 points two different times in the second quarter, and they blew that. Now, they were up by 10 points again in the fourth quarter, and they almost blew it, but won the game by four. <laughs> um, I'm, just, I'm just out of it right now. <laughs> now, last game, Los Angeles versus Miami. Let's get this one out of the way really quickly. Lakers win 95-80. to 80. Um, Obviously, this was in the Staples Center. Uh, Miami's main scorer, Jimmy Butler, buckets, 22 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals for the Lakers. It was Anthony Davis, the true best player on the Lakers, 26 points, 8 rebounds, 7 assists, 2 steals, 3 blocks. It was truly Anthony Davis' team. Uh, Miami Heat went up by 1 point in the second quarter, but they never held the lead after that and let the Lakers go up by 17 points at the end of the game. Lakers win by 15. Now... I gotta get on to the next video, so thank you guys for watching, subscribe to the channel, make sure you like the video and get all this stuff, and then I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.